that's how you do it. You guys ready for this one? The Legend Darts Menser Sulevich Darts Review begins right now. What's up guys, Worldwide here. I got a great video for you today. And hey, how about that 161 to kick things off with? I'm sure a lot of you know where that came from. Going back to the 2023 PTC World Championship just last month. Menser, incredible shot from 161. Michael Van Gerwen had 50 remaining with one dart in hand. He threw a single 18 to leave 32, thinking Menser wouldn't take out that 161. And he shoved it right down his throat. So yeah. What an amazing moment. Probably, well, that would have been the greatest moment of the entire PDC World Championship. However, we all know what happened in the finals. Michael Smith, Michael Van Gerwen, greatest leg of darts ever thrown. So yeah, that one kind of overshadowed uh, Menser's 161, but man, that 161 was awesome. Now, some of you might not even be aware of this going back, I don't know, a few years ago, several years ago, Menser hit what I believe arguably one of the best nine darters of all time. Check this out, 170, 170 to start the leg off with, right? Who does that? 170, 170 to leave 161. He ended up taking that out for, yeah, probably the greatest nine darter of all time. I'm not even sure how you could do a better nine darter unless it was 167, 167, 167. But yeah, that was absolutely amazing. Menser's certainly known for his 161 checkouts. So um, yeah, we got the legend darts. These, the ones I'm reviewing today, are the Natural Tungsten version. Oh, and by the way, I got them at Darts Corner. I'll have a link down in the pinned comment. Natural Tungsten version, available 21, 23, and 25 grams. They also have a black coated version, same 21, 23, and 25 grams. So there you go. There's the story of Menser. What a great player, world-class player. And on top of that, just a great character as well. Who doesn't love Menser? He's just such an awesome person. Always happy up on stage, super happy when he wins. His interviews are incredible. His English is getting a lot better as well. So, um, hey, let's hop right into it. I think it's going to be a great review. You know what's going to happen. So uh, here we go. Okay, let me show you this packaging. We'll take a quick peek of the darts and then straight into the stats and dimensions. So, yeah, fairly basic cardboard hand case here, right? Although one thing that Legend Darts does that I really like is they have not only one, but two pictures front and back of Menser Sulevich on the packaging. Now, I'm not gonna name any names. However, you guys probably know who I'm talking about. There are some companies out there that will produce a set of pro player darts and not even include the pro player pitcher on the packaging. And that just drives me nuts because you put in the hard work to become a professional player, you get your own set of darts, and the company doesn't even feel the need to add your pitcher to the packaging. Yeah, that just, I don't know, one of my pet peeves. So um, well done here to Legend. Menser is certainly deserving of not one, but two pitchers. So yeah. All right. Checking out the darts. And again, a little bit of a rant here. We have Menser Sulevich, a world-class player, right? Using a very basic set of darts. We got multi-rings in the front, in the rear, and then micro multi-rings going all the way to the stem. So again, very basic set of darts, right? Now you guys out there watching this video, you can feel free to buy those 120 $130 darts with the 14 different coatings, with the fancy machining, the fancy milling. But you know what? They're not going to make you a better player. There's a reason why top professional players, the vast majority of them, use a basic set of darts. That's because they work time and time again. So, um, yeah, just my little rant there. You don't need those fancy darts. Something like this is going to work more than well enough. So on the back end, you've got your Legend Darts nylon stem. They are... 40 millimeters long, not including the threads. And then on the very back end, you got your Legends darts, standard size flights. You know what? That's kind of confusing as well. The flights Legends, on the stem you got Legend, and then on the barrel, Legend as well. So kind of confusing there. And on other sets of darts, you know, obviously the logo, Legend darts, that's the brand name, but then Legends darts. So which is it? I don't know. It's just kind of confusing, right? For some, I think the flights should be just legend darts, right? I don't know. Let me know what you think about that. Not a big deal, but yeah, just the names kind of get confusing, right? But um, yeah, let's hop into the stats and dimensions after all that ranting. All righty, let's see what we got going on here. Starting up front with the dreaded silver points. 
32 millimeters, by the way, of which 27 millimeters is sticking out of the barrel. The barrels themselves, 90% tungsten. The barrel length coming in at 50 millimeters even. And the barrel width kind of varies on here, right in the middle on the smooth section with a logo, 6.5 millimeters wide. However, that tapers down in the front end. So right at the start of the nose cone, 6.3 millimeters wide. And then on the micro multi rings on the back, 5.8 millimeters wide. So it definitely tapers down in the rear of the barrel. So it's gonna make a difference where you grip these things. Now I unscrewed the stem, checked out the drill depth. These are drilled out 14.1 millimeters deep. And the advertised weight here was 21 grams. Match weighting was excellent, although came in a little bit heavy. The lightest barrel, 21.13, 21.14, and 21.17. So yeah, excellent match weighting here from Legend Darts on the Menser Sulevich Darts. But let's get a little bit closer look and I'll tell you about this basic grip. Alrighty, let me tell you about the grip on this barrel and uh, guess what? No surprises at all. I think these barrels are probably about as grippy as they look, which is not very, very mild grip here. No sharp edges or anything like that. Although it's nice to have some micro multi rings. So for your rear grippers, they don't have that smooth section, which I know a lot of people don't like smooth sections on the barrel. Unfortunately, with this massive smooth section in the middle of the barrel, we got Legend Arts, the Menser Sulevich signature right below that. But uh, yeah, very mild grip. I'll go ahead and give these a grip level 2.2 on a scale of one to five. That's it, we got this elongated tapered nose cone. Although one thing I really don't like, look at the size of that massive lip right there. So that lip is going to wreak havoc on your flights, especially if you're using expensive molded flights or really expensive condors. 1010, I would recommend repointing these things. You get a specialty point on there, it's gonna eliminate that lip and then you don't have to worry about your flights getting chewed up or wild deflections. So for this video, or for the throwing part of the video, I will be adding the Trident 180 nose cones. They don't look great, but it will help preserve the flights. Although, you know what? I was smart enough to buy an extra set of flights. So whoever buys these things next will get practically a brand new set. But um, yeah, I'm gonna throw them just like that. So let's get these things on the board, see how they fly. And I think my grip, believe it or not, I'll be gripping right on the smooth section because that's that's just where my grip lays naturally or ends up naturally. So that's my grip. But let's get these things on the board, see how they fly. Here we go. Okay, hey, just had a quick warm up with these darts. And you know what? It's just one of those sets of darts that's incredibly easy to throw. You have three, four, five turns and you're already used to them. They fly perfectly with this setup with the uh, intermediate length 40 millimeter stem standard size flights. They fly like a dream. So check this out. I'm not gonna do checkouts tonight. I'm not even gonna keep track of average. I'm just gonna randomly throw at the board. However, I do wanna go back and touch on something I said earlier in the video. And I don't know, some of you probably won't agree with me, but hey, that's okay. So check this out. We just spent the entire month of December watching the PDC World Championship. All the professional players, all the world's, ooh, hold on, all the world's best players, ah, 140, throwing darts, again, for the entire month of December and a couple days in January. The eventual winner, Michael Smith, uses the most basic darts known to mankind. I think is you know, straight barrel dart, probably what, six, seven, or eight multi, multi rings machined into the barrel. And again, Menser, basic set of darts, the vast majority of pro players, basic set of darts, right? So I just can't wrap my mind around why a lot of you 50, 60, 70 average players think that you need 100, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50 dollar darts. Again, you just watch the world's best players play all month long with their darts, and then for some reason you go out and spend ungodly amounts of money thinking that you know, I think maybe a lot of you think that maybe the more you spend, the better player you're going to be. And really, that's just not true at all. Just, you know, you can buy a $150 set of darts. However, you could throw just as well with a set of $20 darts from darts clearance. So, yeah, the price of darts really has almost nothing to do with how well you'll be able to throw them. So, yeah, I don't know. I just kind of wanted to touch on that topic. Let me know what you think about that. And, you know, I get it. I understand. There's a lot of collectors out there and you know it's all right if you spend that much money on darts nobody really cares 
But, um, you know, there's a lot of collectors out there or people that just want good looking darts, fancy looking darts, beautiful darts, whatever you want to call them. But as long as you understand that they're honestly probably not going to make you a better player. But man, these things, wow. They are throwing pretty good. Again, change out the points, get a set of specialty points on here, and you'll be doing well. If it was up to me, I would probably go with the new mission sniper points, or you could even go target storm points, whatever, whatever points you prefer. But I would definitely get rid of that lip. Oops. See, I'm, I'm gripping right on that smooth section, and that one slipped right off my finger. Hey, a five and a one. And a bowl. Hey, that's a third dart saver. Oh, wait, no. That's just a... I take that back. That was just a 25. <clears throat> yeah, these... Um, I mean, you could grip up front with these. That smooth section in the middle, again, that's going to kind of mess with some players. But for a rear gripper, I'll do this turn all rear grip. And that grip goes all the way back to the stem. Oh, that one got away from me. Uh-oh, I don't think I can get under that. Oh, I did, but I missed. But yeah, they're gonna work front gripper, rear gripper, and eh, middle gripper, probably not so much. All right, we'll do one more. Again, rear grip. Two at the 20, one at the bolt. Well, that's a nice one. See if I can get right over that. Pull. Oh, man, that is, that is one good bullseye right in the middle. Wow. All right. Well, there's enough of my rambling. <laughs> Great set of darts. I, I didn't mean to be negative there, but I just kind of wanted to make it clear that, man, the vast majority of professional players use a basic set of darts for a reason. You get a nice, clean, consistent release. They're easy to throw, and they're easy to throw repeatedly over a long format match. So um, there you go. There's my rant for the day, and there's a great set of darts. We do, have, however, have one more clip, 180, and a rating. We're out of here. Get in there, just as easy as that. What an incredibly easy dart to throw, by the way, wow. I like these a lot more than I thought I would, for sure. So, um, hey, there it is, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video so far. If you did, thumbs up, always appreciated. However, feel free to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the video. Let me know what you thought of the Menser Sulevich darts from Legend Darts. Again, link down below in the pinned comment. Take you over to Darts Corner. You can check out these, the natural tungsten version or the black coated version. Again, 21, 23, and 25 grams. A little bit of something there for everyone, right? So um, let me give these things a quick rating on how well I think they're going to work for your average recreational dart player. I honestly think they're going to work well for most players. It's just a basic set of darts. Incredibly easy to throw. Really the only ding on these things where I'm going to deduct some points is the large smooth section in the middle of the barrel. That might screw up a few of you. However, other than that, you can't really complain too much. Even the price for a top professional player, they're priced, they're not gonna break the bank, right in that $50 range. So overall, not too bad. I'll give these a recommendation, 8.6 out of 10. I think that's a fair rating. Let me know what you think of it. And uh, I guess that's it, guys. So until next time, we'll see you on the next video. Oh yeah, change out the points. Later.